All right, and now we have a question from the extraordinary Jeremy McPeak, who works for Laracast. He says, what inspired you to start in web development? Uh, the answer is um, nothing like, hey, when I was five years old, I was always tinkering with computer. Nothing like that whatsoever. I wasn't even very interested in it. Uh, but when I was 20, I was starting to connect the dots that being a professional musician very much does not match my default personality. It wasn't a good fit. I went in as a hobby, not as a profession. And uh, right around that time, my parents, who are uh, professional songwriters, had the idea of launching an online service where people, uh, aspiring songwriters, could send in their tapes or their music and they would evaluate them. So if you want to have a professional evaluate your music, your lyrics, give you feedback, um, they could do that. So now that's kind of like an overdone thing. But back then, it's kind of a new idea, especially the idea of doing it entirely online. So we thought, all right, let's make a subscription business, just like Laracast. We're going to charge 15 bucks a month. And as part of your subscription, you can now mail in uh, your tapes. Yes, tapes. They were always tapes, sometimes CDs, usually tapes back then. Uh, and they would just have some, some John Doe from Arkansas with his song that he wrote. And he wants some feedback uh, on it. And he wants to know, is this going to be the next big country song in Nashville? And my parents would listen to it and they would say, well, here's some issues here. Here's uh, it's not very memorable. Here's some issues with your lyrics. Very cool idea, really. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to pat myself on the back and then I'm going to knock myself down. All right. So to pat myself on the back, knowing absolutely nothing whatsoever, we did launch that site and we did get subscribers. Uh, only about a couple dozen before everything blew up, but it worked. You know, just the simple fact that we had an idea, we created a site that looked horrible, by the way, and we launched the site and we got money. I feel like that alone is a win. Okay, pat complete. Now I'm going to knock myself down. Um, you might be wondering, how did these people pay you? If you didn't know what you were doing, Jeffrey, how did they give you their credit card? And the answer is, well, they would put in their credit card number into an input and um, they would press the button and then we would just take that full number and clear text and we would save it to the database and clear text. And then I would once a month call a number to charge the cards in the database for $15 each. And I just had a little to-do list. Uh, today I got to charge this person and that person. Yeah, trust me, your Laracast credentials and your passwords and your uh, card details are entirely safe. Your card details are nowhere in our database. It's all in Stripe's end. So go after them if they do anything. Um, but yes, m to say I was in over my head is like the understatement of the century. But here's what I'll leave you with. That feeling of being wildly over your head or under your head, over your head, um, it, it's when you are learning the most. I learned so, so much. I went from zero to having a basic idea of what it means to build a website, a bad website, an insecure website, but a website. So I, you know what? I feel like even today, I should be doing more things that place me in the position of being wildly and over my head. Mm -hmm.